Hey, Brother Rob here in New York of Rob Woods Ministries. Guys, God has not rejected you, but he's accepted you. I said Jesus has accepted you, and he has not rejected you. In the book of Ephesians, it said you are what? <clears throat> accepted in the Beloved. Now, the love of God, guys, it's a difficult thing really to articulate with human verbiage. But it's the number one, I would say, vice that's missing in mankind's hearts. The number one, I would say, hole in the heart that man tries to stuff it with beyond the love of God, whether it's affirmation, acceptance, popularity, money, fame, fortune, etc., you know the drill, is the love of God. Some don't feel they're worthy of it. Some strive for it. But the love of God's unconditional, guys. So November 28th, 9 p.m. East Coast, New York. I'm going to share some keys I've learned over 30 years ministering on the love of God. You, you, I don't think you're going to hear this or have ever heard it. This is something the Lord has downloaded to me over the years. Because if the devil can convince you or unconvince you that God doesn't love you and he's forgotten about you and he doesn't care about you, or if you don't feel worthy of the love of God, you're going to live a twisted, perverted, contorted life. You'll never measure up. You know, there's a woman in the Bible, guys. The Bible says she's bent over for 18 years. She couldn't straighten her life out. She couldn't straighten her life up. Jesus comes on the scene. He says, woman, be thou made straight. And immediately she straightens up. The only one that can straighten your life out is the Christ. The only one that can straighten your life up is the love of God, where there's crooked places, where there's places that are not functioning the way that God's designed. So the love of God, it's so important that we understand it's unconditional, and I'm going to share about that, where the love of God doesn't deviate. I'll see you November 28th live on YouTube, 9 p.m., I'm going to be sharing once again on the great love that the Father has for us. The Lord bless you. Amen. Hallelujah.